Stir fried beef and ginger, Pat King Newer. Now this is a dish made in food heaven. Hi guys, how are you all doing? Today we're going to make an absolutely fabulous um, stir fry dish, okay? Now it's normally made with chicken and you can buy it anywhere in Thailand, but we're going to make it with beef. Pad King Nua. So simple, so tasty. Now the thing with this dish, guys, is beef goes really well with ginger and oyster sauce. Every Chinese recipe that you can eat with beef and oyster sauce, delicious. Okay, this is Thai, but you know, it works the same way. It's Asian cooking, it's full of flavor, it's fantastic. Beef, oyster sauce, and ginger. Absolutely incredible. So let's get on and make this. Okay, it's very easy to prepare then. Very simple. We've already sliced the beef. So what we need to do now is julienne our ginger. So it's nice and easy. We want to cut nice and thinly through the ginger. And then what we want to do is actually julienne this into small pieces. These little strands of ginger goodness in this stir fry add a little bit of heat and obviously the flavor of the ginger. It just makes this dish. And beef and ginger, absolutely fantastic. So we'll just slice across all of these. Right, that's our ginger slice, guys. All we need to do now is put it in a bowl. So there we go. Our julienne ginger. Take some garlic, four or five cloves, and we need to just give it a bash in and then slice it through. It just makes it an awful lot easier than just slicing and slicing and slicing. Just give it a bash and then run your knife over the top. Now, now you can use as much garlic as you like. Okay, if you don't like garlic, only put a little bit in, but it is one of the but it is one of the predominant flavors in this dish. Okay, it goes in at the start with the ginger. So there we go, guys. Garlic done. So what we need to do now, guys, we need to slice our Red chili. Now, if you don't like chili seeds, don't put them in. Now, the way to actually cut this chili and miss out the seeds is to actually cut and turn at the same time. And then you won't get the seeds in. These big, long chilies do not carry any heat as such. It's really just for color in your dish. You know, a nice bit of red chili on top of there, stirred in, it looks fantastic. So there's the seeds, we don't want that, so we'll get rid of those. So there's our red chili. Okay, and what we need to do now is we need to take about three or four um, green onions, okay? And what we don't want, we don't want those ends, obviously, so let's trim those off. We don't want that. Let's get rid of that. And then let's flip it round and get rid of that too. And then with our green onions then, what we need to do, we need to actually cut it into about one centimetre pieces because the green onions uh, are just going in with the chilli at the, at the end of our cooking. So it's just give it a bit of colour in there. Okay, there's a little bit of flavour. So nice and steady, we want about one, one and a half centimetre pieces, okay? Nice and easy. So just cut through nice and steady. And that is our 
green onion garnish done so we'll just put that in a bowl oh we're losing a couple okay we'll put that in a bowl done nice and steady and then what we need to do we need to take our woodier mushrooms okay and just give it a nice slice through nothing too much we don't want to slice these up too much we actually want that woodier in our our dish okay so that's about enough there so what we need to do guys we need to just slice some onions okay so the half an onion but basically what we're doing is actually just slicing it into slices half an onion is probably enough but we'll just put a little bit more in I like onion in mine so there we have our sliced onion so that's it guys that's how our, our ingredients prepped it's very easy and now the stir fry comes together very very quickly so let's get over to the stove and let's make our beef and ginger stir fry Pad King Noah let's do this right guys this is so simple and very quick actually so we want to put a bit of oil in our pan a couple of tablespoons as usual and then we want to get our pan on now we don't want to be too hot with this okay um, this is a nice quick stir fry but it doesn't want to be too hot we don't want to burn anything when it goes in okay so what we need to do is go in with our garlic get our garlic in there garlic in ginger in nice and steady little bit of a stir fry now we don't want this too hot and we do not want to actually put too much color on any of this so just get it in there cook it around we're just cooking for aroma So nice and steady then we're just going to cook that we don't want any color on there and you can see the garlic is just starting to have a little bit of a brown tinge so in with our beef we want our beef in there we want the beef to take on all the flavors of the garlic and ginger give it a quick stir fry round now we need to be cooking this beef for about oh just a minute or so you know it's very thinly sliced and what we need to do is not cook it all the way through we need to cook it to about 80% done and then we add our sauces just keep turning your beef over make sure we get it cooked through on all sides now we don't want to burn any of this we do not want any color on any of this at all okay now if the beef takes a little bit of color that's fine but we don't want to be burning the ginger or garlic so like we say this is very very quick as a stir fry okay we can see there we've started to take a little bit of color on the garlic and the ginger so quick so easy okay and now I'm going to go in with the onions so in with the onions I like the onions to take on just a little bit of the flavor from the beef uh, and the garlic and the ginger you know we don't we don't want soggy wet onions we need that little bit of crisp in the pan you know so just get them in now stir them around for a little bit let them take on that little bit of a flavor in there 
and then we want to be going in with either our seasoning soy sauce or light soy sauce um, we want one tablespoon of light soy sauce or seasoning sauce and we want two tablespoons of oyster sauce so in with our oyster sauce now that's two nice tablespoons in there and then we want to be adding our sugar okay so in with our sugar there's no panic there's no panic it's a stir fry so give it a stir in stir it around nice and steady oh the, the actual smell of this is incredible and then we want to go in with our woody and mushrooms so get our mushrooms in give that a stir around now don't add the water just yet let the mushrooms actually get in there and get a bit of that flavour and start to cook down a little bit just look at that absolutely fantastic okay the smell guys the smell is unbelievable so you can tell the onions have still got a little bit of crunch the mushrooms have been down there a little bit now what we're going to do is add a splash of water just to give us a little bit of sauce in there that's all now it's not going to be much sauce obviously but it's just going to keep it that little bit wet in the pan stir fry a little bit longer okay and then we need to go in with our chilies and our green onion now now guys at this time we need to just give this a stir through and cook for about 30 seconds and no more so really what you can do you can turn off the heat and give it a stir through and that is our beef ginger stir fry made so simple so easy and the smell that's coming off this is absolutely incredible so all we need to do now is serve it up so let's get that served up onto our plate absolutely fantastic just look at all those colors guys on there that is absolutely incredible and now for the taste test oh just look at that Oh man, that is absolutely oh amazing! Oh, mm -hmm. you know, beef and ginger stir fry. 
beef and ginger with oyster sauce is one match is one match made in food heaven oh that is absolutely amazing now guys if you like what we're doing don't forget like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time mm.